this video, we will discuss the scalability and supportability improvements in vSphere 7 Update 1. vSphere 7 Update 1 supports increased compute maximums for larger virtual machines and also improves supportability of the product. At the end of this video, we'll have met the following learner objectives. We'll describe the compute maximums in vSphere 7 Update 1, describe virtual machine compatibility for ESXi 7 Update 1, describe the VMware Tools App Info plugin, describe the Support Bundle REST API, and how to use the Support Bundle REST API. vSphere 7 Update 1 increases several of the compute maximums. The number of vCPU per virtual machine increases to 768. The maximum amount of memory per virtual machine increases to 24 terabytes. The maximum memory per host increases to 24 terabytes. And the maximum number of hosts per cluster increases to 96. Previous restrictions on the number of fault tolerance VMs and fault tolerance vCPUs per host have been removed in vSphere 7 Update 1. The maximum number of virtual CPUs per individual fault tolerance VM remains at 8 virtual CPUs. For all configuration maximums, see configmax.vmware.com. vSphere 7 Update 1 introduces a new virtual machine compatibility mode. Virtual machine compatibility for ESXi 7 Update 1, also referred to as virtual machine hardware version 18. This new virtual machine compatibility version is required for the following features. For VMs with greater than 256 virtual CPUs, VMs with greater than six terabytes of memory. It is also required to use AMD SEVES feature, VM EVC for GPUs, and PV RDMA native endpoint. For more on virtual machine compatibility, See the VMware Knowledge Base article 100346. VMware Tools 11.0 introduces the App Info plugin. This plugin allows virtual machines to report the applications running within the guest operating system. The application name and version are published. This feature is enabled by default with VMware Tools 11.0. And this feature can only be disabled at an individual VM basis in vSphere 7. With vSphere 7 Update 1, you can enable or disable VMware Tools App Info Plugin Reporting at the ESXi level. Configuring the state for the VMware Tools App Info Plugin is done using ESX CLI commands. You can configure the state of the VMware Tools App Info Plugin at the ESXi level by using the ESXi CLI VM app info set command. vSphere 7 introduces a new appliance management REST API. This is used to generate and download a support bundle, even if the vCenter server service is offline. 
A downloaded bundle is automatically deleted after 30 minutes. If the download is still in progress, the deletion will be deferred for another 30 minutes. You can still use existing methods to generate a support bundle using vSphere Log Insight, the vSphere Client, SSH, and the vCenter Server Appliance Management Interface. To use the Support Bundle REST API, the Appliance Management Service is required to be running. Users must be a member of a new single sign-on group to leverage the Support Bundle REST API. This group is called System Configuration Support Users. This group provides users with the permissions only to call the Support Bundle REST API. It does not provide any other privileges to the environment. By default, the SSO administrator role is a member of this group. You can list the individual components that are gathered by the support bundle REST API by issuing the following GET statement. To generate a support bundle, you would then issue the following POST statement. This statement takes a couple of parameters, description, components, and partition. The description is a text-based description of the task. You can optionally list individual components that you wish to gather. The default is to leave this variable blank and all components will be gathered. You can also optionally define the partition this defines the location to store the generated log bundle temporarily to allow it to be downloaded. If omitted, the default storage location slash storage slash log will be used. Once you issue the post statement, it will return a task ID. Using the task ID, you can issue further get statements to return the status of the task. Once the support bundle has been generated, you can again issue a get statement and it will return the download location for the support bundle. It will also include the description, the status, and the size of the support bundle. If the support bundle REST API fails, a failure message will be provided. In this example, the message indicates that the specified partition slash storage slash net dump did not have enough space to store the support bundle. At the end of this video, we have met the following learner objectives. We've described the compute maximums in vSphere 7 update 1, described virtual machine compatibility for ESXi 7 update 1, Describe the VMware Tools App Info plugin and how to disable it at an ESXi level. Describe the Support Bundle REST API and how to utilize the Support Bundle REST API. The key points for this video are that ESXi clusters can now support up to 96 hosts in a single cluster. Virtual machine compatibility for ESXi 7 update 1 is required for increased VM compute maximums. VMware Tools App Info plugin can be configured at an ESXi host level. And a new support bundle REST API can gather support information with minimal permissions. Thank you, and I hope you've enjoyed this video.